Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Akinkwade Toluwani and if you are just watching my video, please kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. On my YouTube channel, I give political analysis on recent happenings on in Nigerian politics. And with time, I also moved to international politics. But because we are doing that, we are in our election period that I'm giving political analysis on Nigerian politics. So today, I'll be talking about the G5 governors, the, the group of five governors from PDP, the aggrieved governors from PDP who felt the southern part of Nigeria is being marginalized in the PDP and they also felt that uh, power should shift to the south and they also call themselves integrity group. So a news broke out earlier today that uh, depending on your time zone yesterday today. So the news broke out that the G5 governors have striked a deal with Bolamir Tunubu of the APC. Well, I have two scenarios to paint in this kind of issue. I have two scenarios to paint. And any scenario I'm painting is based on my opinion and with the, with the way I've analyzed things and with my little knowledge about politics. That's what this scenario is all about not because i have any concrete evidence somewhere or i have a link no so let's start with this the first scenario is that the apc might be using that news to curry favor from people to make them feel as if they are willing because if you could remember the apc boasted that they've bought the media and if you could notice that the news in which the, the media has been reporting lately has been kind of biased like the this day uh, 2023 election projections where they made some very unrealistic projections even in the strongholds of peter obi they're making unrealistic projections like in um, Ogun state they gave kwan kwan so more votes than peter obi in the yoruba states so I think this is just another kind of uh, media narrative trying to shape the media narrative and trying to make it feel as if APC is winning because Governor Wiki himself said he's going to announce his preferred candidates by January. You know, you might not like Governor Wiki's style of politics, you might not like his personality, but one thing me I've noticed about Governor Ison Wiki, that is the Governor of River State, is that he is a straightforward man he might talk a lot he might you know say things to people but one thing i've noticed about him is he is straightforward and he is to an extent an honest man so if gonoke says january i'm going to announce who i'm supporting then one newspaper came in december and say he has got to deal with tinubu in which we have not even heard from him so personally to me until Wike comes out himself and say, I am supporting Bola Metunubu. Yes, that's when you can now say, okay, the G5, are he, they are irredeemable and they have used their own hands to cause their own downfall or they're not integrity group as they call themselves. And, and why, let's even weigh their options. Let's weigh their options. Why would they want to support a Muslim Muslim ticket in the first place? Let's weigh their options. These five governors, they are Christians and they are from states with Christian dominated citizens. And it is no news that this Muslim ticket, this Muslim Muslim ticket of APC has raised a lot of concerns, even in the north. And is is one of the most unpopular tickets, even though it comes from the south. The ticket is not a popular ticket and people have their reservations about it. So why would governors in a christian dominated area go and cut deals with their opposition which is a muslim ticket and this opposition is not just an ordinary opposition they are strong opposition in those people states and those candidates they have in each state they have the probability of winning like governor um like governor wiki now in river states is fighting with um amechi Amechi also has his own candidate in, in Rivers, who is APC, and he's always coming out insulting APC. He's always coming out to insult Buhari Sevda. 
why would you vote for someone that says he's going to build on the legacy of Buhari because Buhari has failed. Wiki has already said that Buhari has failed as a president. So why would he go and cut a deal with that person? So he himself is going to lose favor from his people. So that's why I mean, I, I just took the news that came out that they cut the deal with APC. I took it with a pinch of salt that this is just another media propaganda by the APC because they have the money to buy and shape narrative of the media anytime any day they want if you could remember there's this nonsense blog in which they post fake news podium reporters that they just come and they post fake news these people are trying so hard to shape the narrative because they know that whoever wins the narrative in politics wins the election so they've been trying very hard to control the narrative that they are winning but they can't because the facts are there facts and figures so now that's the first scenario that it might be a media propaganda that's my first scenario which I'm, I, I painted. The second scenario now is that, okay, let's think that what's come to us, what's come to us, then it's actually true that the G5 have decided to support a Muslim syndicate. Well, to me, I would say nothing spoiled because if they support Peter Obi, it's just another, it's just a political booster. Yes, it's just it's just a political booster to give us uh, more political relevance, and it's not as if it will add more votes, but to just give us that political booster that yes, we can we have some strong people in our party that we can you know rest on. Then if they don't, so be it because this home obedient movement did not start on any G five, and even if you are going to go deep into the politics of PDP, then when. Peter Obi left PDP. Governor Wike granted an interview on um, on channels that he called um, Peter Obi on serious. But we don't want to go deep into that, right? We don't want to go, to, go deep into that. It has gone. Um, Peter Obi himself has made peace with Wike, so we are not in any position to hold on to grudge. Even when the person, when the person in question himself is not holding grudge with Governor Wike himself. So, even if what's come to us, which I know is not possible, it is impossible because someone like Governor Otton too, I I doubt he will ever support a Muslim Muslim ticket, which I know. And again, Governor Makinde over your state. One thing I know about Shay Makinde is that because Shay Makinde is from my state, one thing I'm very sure about Shay Makinde is Shay Makinde is someone who listens to the people, and he always wants to be on the people's side. And now the people don't want a Muslim ticket, a Muslim Muslim ticket. So if he would decide to support a Muslim Muslim ticket, that means he's also part of the establishment, and he has been faking everything that has been telling us in New York State. Then he might start losing the people's love, at least the educated ones, and people will know much about politics because many people are supposed to support him. They won't say anything bad in it, and um, Martin Day is going to end up looking like a regional candidate. Is going to affect his political career in the long run but then the worst thing that could happen is that yes the news is actually true and we'll move on we'll move on one thing i've noticed about this election period is that everything works for peter will be good everything whether the thing we see as a bad thing or we see as a good thing for example the campaign dg that that stepped down the do do you it ended up being a blessing because we got someone who is still experienced in that same field. So I'm always relaxed. I'm always relaxed that everything will always work for Peter Obi's good. So whatever news we see online, whatever thing we see online, let us just calm down. Let us hear from the horse's mouth. Let us hear from them that yes, we are supporting Tunubu. Then we will know that okay, bye bye. See you later. One thing I'm just advising everybody is that let us go and pick up our PVC because this is the only thing, this is the only power we have to retire the old establishment. Thank you for watching my video. Kindly like and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like this analysis. Bye for now.